channel it's me again and today i'm going to be reviewing the movie the figurine our mire movie produced and directed by kule aflayo so sit back relax and enjoy the review okay, okay thank you for still staying with me and watching um this movie the figurine our mire if you remember um in one of my other videos i talked about how i had paid the money to watch it but due to one or two reasons i wasn't able to watch it well finally today i paid i i well, i didn't pay again for it but i was able to watch it and i enjoyed every bit of it um just to give you the cast of the movie you know we have kune aflayo himself we have ramsey noa omoni oboli fumi our our fee be rahimi um jude kosoko yummy fashion and so you know a host of stars and really really lovely cast and just a background also on the movie it's about a couple of friends graduated from university you know they each have their own personal struggles and whatever they're dealing with they all got posted to do their nyc and you know the movie just basically took up from there um you know i don't like to give too much details so that i don't so that I don't discourage you from watching the movie or do otherwise. Um, so that's just basically what's about the love story, adventure, some suspense in it, and I mean a lot of suspense in it. Um, yeah, so that's just basically what the movie is about. What do I like about the figurine? I like the cast. Okay, I already said that. Also, I like the the production, the production, the post production, production and pre production. Were fantastic you could see it as you're watching the movie it was enjoyable i enjoyed the movement of the camera i enjoyed the background music it was creative it was innovative so to say i enjoyed the um picture the sound you know the sound was of good quality i liked the locations that they used you know they didn't try to most in most cases they didn't try to incorporate um they created actually you know created you know there was this thing of nyc can i mean being someone that has served myself i enjoyed watching it again you know all those if you served you know what i'm talking about all those nyc days um they actually went to a real camp they didn't just put some people in some place you know it was it was very creative i liked that about it. and also there was a lot of african touch to it their dressing the houses they used, you know, there was, um, I almost felt that Kule Afolayo in that movie was a lot, a lot more concerned about promoting African culture than it was about the movie, you know, but that was a great thing. I enjoyed it. And, you know, that was a good part of the movie. What I did not like about the movie was that it took a while for the movie to get to the climax. I mean, after a while, I was kind of, you know, I'd heard so much about it and I expected a lot. And so I was kind of waiting for the movie to pick up. It took a lot. The, it took a while for them to build the momentum. Um, I think the movie lasted about 120, 22 minutes. And it took a while for it to build momentum and then to get to the climax. And then at the end of the day, I was just like, oh, finally. I did not forward it, though, at all. I was patient. I watched every second of it. I did not forward the movie. Um... Yes, I think that was the only thing. And then the storyline, it was great. It was incredible. You know, it was um, innovative and was something different. However, you know, at the end, I was kind of like, uh, you know, uh, what, what did I expect? You know that feeling like you expected more, but then you're not satisfied. You wanted more from the movie. Sort of, that was how I felt. But, you know, all that aside, it was a good movie. Great movie. I watched the movie on iBoss.com. I paid and I paid about seven dollars to watch it. I paid seven dollars for it in November, I think, two thousand and eleven, and it wouldn't load. I I don't know. I sent them an email, you know, complain, blah blah blah. But today I was just like, oh, let me go try this movie again. And lo and behold, it played. So if you want to watch the movie, um, and you've not you've not seen and you want to watch the movie, go to iBuzz.com. That's H I B U Z Z. Com. I would put the link in the description box and I paid about seven dollars after taxes to watch the movie And I don't regret paying seven dollars. I mean, you know, Claire Flying as we all know it's a 
great director and producer and i really really enjoyed the movie so this is a great way for me to start 2012 you know with this movie and nollywood so you guys should go check it out i mean um over over 10 i would probably give it an eight and half an eight and half um just because you know it took a while for them to get to the point there was a lot of beauty and beauty and which is okay but um yeah also oh really quick one thing i forgot to mention that i liked was the fact that there was no part two you know there was no oh uh what's going to happen you know watch out for part two you know they didn't try to cheat us you know and stuff so it's worth your money worth your time i love the cast it's a great movie so you guys go check it out okay and i hope to see you soon uh thank you for watching remember to subscribe remember to comment remember to rate and take care of yourself have a lovely day or have a lovely night okay bye bye